Hi there and welcome to InfoWorld. Today's video is about the biggest moons in the solar system. Let's start the video. The biggest moon in our solar system is the Ganymede, Ganymede, or Jupiter 3, is the largest and most massive natural satellite of Jupiter as well as in the solar system. Being a planetary mass moon, Ganymede was discovered by Galileo Galilei in January 1610, along with three other large moons of Jupiter known as the Galilean moon. It is the largest solar system object without an atmosphere, despite being the only moon of the solar system with a magnetic field. It is larger than the planet Mercury, but has somewhat less surface gravity than Mercury, Io or the Moon, with a diameter of about 5,270 kilometers and a mass of 148 raised to power 20 tons. The average density of Ganymede, 1.936 gram per cm cube. Ganymede's surface has an albedo of about 43 percent. Ganymede appears to be fully differentiated, with an internal structure consisting of an iron sulfide iron core, a silicate mantle and outer layers of water ice and liquid water. Ganymede is primarily composed of silicate rock and water ice. It has a differentiated interior with a rocky core surrounded by layers of ice and possibly a subsurface ocean of liquid water. Ganymede has an extremely thin atmosphere, composed mainly of oxygen. However, the atmosphere is so tenuous that it is often considered an exosphere, with individual atoms escaping into space. On number two is Titan. Titan is the largest moon of Saturn, the second largest in the solar system and larger than any of the dwarf planets of the solar system. It is the only moon known to have a dense atmosphere, and is the only known object in space other than Earth on which clear evidence of stable bodies of surface liquid has been found. Titan is one of the seven gravitationally rounded moons in orbit around Saturn, and the second most distant from Saturn of those seven. Frequently described as a planet-like moon, Titan is 50% larger than Earth's moon and 80% more massive. Discovered in 1655 by the Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens, its diameter is about 5,150 kilometers and 1,221,870 kilometers away from Saturn. The atmosphere of Titan is largely nitrogen. Minor components lead to the formation of methane and ethane clouds and heavy organonitrogen haze. The atmosphere creates a hazy orange-brown appearance and gives Titan a greenhouse effect. Titan experiences a methane cycle similar to Earth's water cycle. Methane clouds form in the atmosphere, and it rains liquid methane onto the surface, creating rivers, lakes, and seas. This methane cycle carves the landscape and contributes to the ongoing geological activity on Titan. Coming up next is Callisto. Callisto has a diameter of about 4,820 kilometers making it the third largest moon in the solar system. It is located about 1,882,700 kilometers away from Jupiter. Callisto's surface is heavily cratered, suggesting that it is one of the oldest surfaces in the solar system. It has a diverse range of features including impact craters, ridges, and valleys. Valhalla, a multi-ring impact basin with a diameter of about 3,000 kilometers, is one of the most prominent features on Callisto. Callisto's rotation is tidally locked to its orbit around Jupiter, so that it always faces the same direction, making Jupiter appear to hang directly overhead over its near side. Callisto is surrounded by an extremely thin atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide and probably molecular oxygen, as well as by a rather intense ionosphere. Next on the list is Europa O Jupiter 2 is the smallest of the four Galilean moons orbiting Jupiter, and the sixth closest to the planet of all the 95 known moons of Jupiter. Its diameter is 1,939.7 miles. Europa was discovered independently by Simon Marius and Galileo Galilei. The Hubble Space Telescope detected water vapor plumes similar to those observed on Saturn's moon Enceladus, which are thought to be caused by erupting cryogeysers. The scientific consensus is that a layer of liquid water exists beneath Europa's surface, 
and that heat from tidal flexing allows the subsurface ocean to remain liquid. Europa's surface temperature averages about 110 Kelvin at the equator and only 50 Kelvin at the poles. On number 5 is Triton. It is the largest natural satellite of the planet Neptune and was the first Neptunian moon to be discovered on October 11, 1846, by English astronomer William Lassell. It is the only large moon in the solar system with a retrograde orbit, an orbit in the direction opposite to its planet's rotation. Because of its retrograde orbit and composition similar to Pluto, Triton is thought to have been a dwarf planet, captured from the Cooper belt. It has 2,710 kilometers of diameter, the only satellite of Neptune massive enough to be in. It comprises more than 99.5% of all the mass known to orbit Neptune, including the planet's rings and 13 other known moons. Its crust consists of nitrogen ice, dry ice and water ice. Trace ices include 0.1% methane and 0.05% carbon monoxide. There could also be ammonia ice on the surface. That's all for today see you in another video.